guys here, in this part we'll implement edit task function, mark its favorite or unfavorite and more others. And this is the last part of the test app tutorial. As you can see in the picture, in the trailing we'll have two things. First, checkbox and second pop-up window. Let's build it with mixing row and column widget. Cut the list tile. Past and comment it. At first, create row widget. And as a child, first there will be a star icon to know whether the task favorite or not. And then, task title. Then checkbox. Checkbox will be at the end as you saw in the picture before. To make it at the end, wrap the icon and text widget with another row widget. After that, in the first row, set main axis alignment space between. As I told you before, in the main X alignment row widget has no limit. That's why task title goes infinite. We need to wrap text and the second row widget with expanded widget. Next, below the task title, we will need to show when the task created or updated. So, let's create the date. Wrap the text widget with column widget. And below it, create another text widget. Save it and... Here it is. To move the title and date to left, just set column cross alignment dot star. Add some padding to the left. And size it box between star icon and the column. Now it looks better. This is a default format of the date time and you can change it into any format I'll show you here. For that, we need another package which is called Intel. Press Ctrl Shift P and search pub spec assist and type Intel. Run flutter pub get command. Cut this line for a while. And using date format package, we can format the date. Here, select one of the formats. For example, select this one. And here is our selected format. Instead of this, we can write the formats manually in the string format. Write like this and be careful, the letter M must be in uppercase and also you can add hours but i use this format and also i can add hour minute and seconds to the format you can try any formats and create your best choice that's all with this format. Now I create pop-up window. To make it the same with the picture, we wrap the checkbox with the row widget and as a second child we add the pop-up menu button. The pop-up menu button has item builder, which is returns a list of pop-up menu items. And 
and as a child of the pop-up menu item, I use text button dot icon. Leave on preset empty and set icon in label. Just copy it. And we make another two pop-up menu items. And pop-up menu item has its own on tape. Leave them empty and set on preset now. We already have the late function. So copy it from here and paste it. Let's test it. It's working. And one more thing. In the recycle bin folder we have the same pop-up menu, but it should be different. I mean here must be restore and delete forever buttons. But first, let's extract the pop-up menu button. We cannot do this because of the on tape callback. Now, separate the widgets. And here we create void callback. We have extracted the widget. Now we change the pop-up menu item in the recycle bin folder. We need a task object. Here we use ternary operator. If task is deleted is false, we will see this pop-up menu otherwise we use another one. First one is restore button. And second one is delete forever button. Let's check it. And here, instead of this, we can use restore from trash icon. It's all working perfect. Next, in the task model we add two new properties, which are date and its favorite. Add them everywhere like I am doing.
And now, while creating new task, we add its creating time. Create new task. And the creating time of all tasks are the same. Why it's like this? What is our logic error? Try to find and fix it. So, now I'll show you what's the problem. Go to task tile. It's building all tasks with a date time dot now. Instead, we need to use task date. Task date is string format. We must parse it into date time. Create another task. Now, that's all right with the date time. Next, we implement add to bookmark feature. Go to task event. For saving time, I created them before. And go to task block file. And its logic is also ready. I will explain it all one by one. We create task list getting initial task state. In this event we don't know whether task is checked or not. And we also don't know whether task is favorite or not. This event makes favorite if it's not favorite, otherwise vice versa. If it's not completed and favorite, then it gets its index from the pending task, removes all task and re-adds it making it favorite. And in the 87th line, it adds a task to the favorites list. Next condition, if it's not completed but favorite. In this case, again it gets its index from the pending task, removes all task and re-adds it, but this time with making it unfavorite. And in the 93rd line, it removes the task from the favorites list. And from the 95th line to 109th line, it works the same, but this time the task is completed. And finally, emit it as you see in the next lines. Now go to pop-up menu file. And here we create new callback. This callback likes or dislikes the task. And here in the pop-up menu item, we check the condition. And according to it, we set different icons. We do the same with label. And set the callback. Go to test tile and send the event callback. Finally, go to icon widget. And also, we use ternary operations to change the icon. That's all. Let's test it. The task is marked as favorite and it's also there in the favorites tab. Now we do it with completed task. It's all working perfect. Now we implement edit task function. Edit task screen is almost the same with add task screen, so we can copy the add task screen and use it for edit task screen.
Now we adapt it. Change this into edit. And here write save. To change the task we need all task. So we need to provide edit task screen with all task. And here in the text editing controllers we provide its initial text getting the all task title. And description. Finally, in the save button we create edited task in this way. ID remains the same. And its favorite state also remains the same. But is done will be false, because the task is edited now. And it's almost new task. That's why we can consider it as unchecked. Before going on, we must implement edit task event. Again, in order to save the time, I already wrote it to you. But don't worry, I'll explain it all step by step. Here in the event task, we get both old and new task. Why do we need them? You will know it here in the task block. Just now, I just uncomment the edit task block logic. And before I explain it, I just want to finish edit task screen. So I've finished. What is wrong in the event file? Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't uncomment the some parts of the event. And now I explain it. So first of all, we check whether task is favorite or not. If it's, then it's favorite task list, but the task will be updated in the new one. Then we emit task state. In pending task, we remove all task and insert new one because all edited task will be in the pending task list. And also, we remove the task from completed task list. We don't have to check whether the task is completed or not. We just remove it from both pending and completed task list. Don't worry, if it's not in the completed task list, but we are removing it from there, nothing will happen. It just checks and does nothing. So let's finish implementing edit task function. Here in the pop-up menu, we need edit task callback. And here we call it. And in the test tile file, provide with a callback. Go to tab screen. Copy the show model bottom sheet. And here we reuse it. Finally, call the function here. Edit button does not work. When we change and call the callback from here on pressed. It works. Telling you the truth, I searched the Google, Stack Overflow site, GitHub and other sites, but I couldn't find why it's not working with on tape callback, but it's working on pressed callback. If anyone of you finds or knows what's the problem, please comment it below. Let's check it. Edit this favorite task. As you see, the pop-up menu remains open it because we use it on pressed callback, not on tape.
So, we add navigator dot of context pop here. Now that's okay. And this remove from bookmarks text is too long. Let's make it two lines text. Just add here backslash n. I think this is better now. Next, we implement the restore function. Go to task event and add restore task event. I just uncomment it. And now we implement its block. So its logic is simple. We just remove the task from remove task list and insert it to the pending task list, making all its deleted is done and its favorite false, because restored task is no more completed and favorite. So that's all. It's very easy, isn't it? Now, go to pop-up menu file, add restored task callback. And call it here. And provide the pop-up menu with restored task callback. Let's test it. In the bin folder, task 2 is favorite and uncompleted. Restore it and it's here in the pending task step. Next, we implement delete all tasks. In the task event, just write the line of code because this event doesn't receive a tasks object. And here its logic is simple. We just emit test states clearing the root task list. Next, go to recycle bin file. I change actions in the app bar and add pop-up menu here. Icon is delete forever. And it has delete all task callback. Delete some task. And now in the bin folder, we can delete all tasks at once. We almost finished the project, but we have a little bug here. Here we have favorite task 1, and it's also here in the favorite tab. But when we complete the task and look at the favorite tab, it's unchecked. But the task is here in the completed task tab and checked. But it's not checked in the favorite tab. It must be checked everywhere when we update the task is completed or vice versa. The reason is, I haven't updated the update task event after adding favorite event feature. Let's update it. I select the on update task and pass new updated version. I prepared it before so that you don't get bored while I'm typing. So I only explain it. As usual, I get all task lists from the state tasks. If task is unfavorite and uncompleted, it will be removed from pending task list and inserted to the completed task list, the same logic as previous. But if it's favorite task, we change the logic. We get task index from favorite task list. And next two lines are the same as before. After that, the main updated part is here. We remove the old task from favorite task list and insert it at that index making is done true. So next, if task is completed but not favorite, we go here. It again removes a task from completed task list and adds to pending task list. And finally, when the task is completed and favorite, we use the same logic as above. But this time we remove the favorite task from completed task list and add it to pending task list. And in the 59th line, we update the task in the favorite task list, making is done false. So, that's all. 
Finally, we have finished. It may be a little bit difficult to understand what I explained it just now, but it's not so difficult. Rewatch the tutorial where you don't understand exactly, comment it, read the code line by line, and imagine and deep think about what is happening there. I believe you will learn and understand it easily. This project has been finished. Subscribe and don't miss our next real app tutorials. Thank you for watching and supporting us. Ta-ta for now, see you in the next project!